Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Still running the patch and uh, so far so good. Not seen too many performance hits or issues. Uh, not seen many crashes either. I might have just jinxed it completely. But anyway, here we are at White Craig's, the last station we placed on the Nilston line. And today, hopefully, we're going to be adding Patterson. I almost said Patterson. I've been telling myself at the beginning of this video, don't call it Patterson, because it's going through your head. No S. <laughs> so there's a T there. Patterton? Is it Patterton? It looks like Patterton. I'm going with it. And of course, Nielsen. If we can get those two stations in. As well as a nice viaduct that's coming up, which we'll take a look at on the map shortly. Look at that in the background. Isn't that wonderful? It's starting to look the part. And we've got next to none of the detailing in. A lot of it's going to be broad strokes that we keep adding. But yeah. Once uh, Queen's Park goes in as well. We're missing a lot of the trees over there. UI is up. As you can see. A little bit of uh, outlining. Has been going on at White Craig's. And uh, this is the main road we were looking at. That goes over just before the station not the bridge i would have liked however uh, with the way this road curves i went with this and then we can fill it in with some brick either side with our assets this crossover not there do have a few more signals to put in uh, i've been reliably informed there are midway blocking signals that also act as distance signals for each of these at the end of each uh, platform. So yes, that's all we've got to do. Bit of lag there. What was I saying about no lag? Ignore that. It tends to be... Oh, do you know, that reminds me. Back in the uh, Transport Fever 1 days, you'd have to go around the map, wouldn't you? And cache it sort of thing. Perhaps that's something... That we have to do. Let's have just have a quick look at a train. Is that the diesel? 170. It is. Is there a train behind it? I thought I glimpsed one. I'm just going to go over there. You can still see the 170 just. But yes, there is. There's a 320. Just coming in behind it. And stuff is moving. Trains are moving. Which bodes well for the future, doesn't it? Once we get more trains in. I thought we should take a look. Add some trains before we build. Because it's going to be a bit of wiggling out with tracks. A bit of uh, signal filling in. And uh, two stations. I'm hoping Nielsen and Patterton, not Patterson, will be uh, trouble free. Perhaps jinxing things again. And we will have the, uh, the turn back at... Nilston as well and possibly possibly make use of it within a timetable I have a few tricks up my sleeve planned whether they work I don't know but it will be something to add to the scenery and realism as well this area is still under construction but also very much a pencil outline at the moment I'm not sure if it's the finished article just yet uh, mainly because of the ultimate station or the new ultimate station that's coming might allow us to do something a little different with glasgow central as lovely as it is it would be nice if we could get functional extended platforms where they should be they're already looking a little bit beaten up aren't they that's fantastic workhorses yeah there we go right Back over at White Craig's and the end of the line here. I extended this to give myself a reminder of where we're heading. We're kind of copying this. This is the station we just added. This is the one we're about to add. The, in fact, should we have a look at the map? Here is Patterton. I nearly said it again. In my head, I'm saying Patterson as I'm about to say Patterton. And uh, at some point, I'm going to mess that up. This is a park and ride. Isn't that something that's missing in Transport Fever? But we're not going to dwell on that. I've always wanted to see park and rides. They're very much missing. Along with things like multi-storey car parks as well. 
I mean, not just for park and rides either. Sometimes it makes sense to drive to any local station to get to another city, perhaps. Uh, if you're just going for a day trip. But yeah, airports, big one, big one. People driving to airports. That I would like to see. Anyway, yes, this is Patterton. And there's our station. We're not going to do it curved. No point. We might as well use our our simple station to get the effect in. Not much going on either as far as station buildings go. We'll pop back down into the park and ride. Simple little bridge we've got going on there. A footbridge. And it's just basically a, a little hut, isn't it? Yeah. With a, Is that a bag? It's possibly blowing in the wind as well. Excellent. Facilities. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sure Jeff Marshall has been to Patterton. Anyway, then we move along. And this is uh, the interesting bit and a nice bit of scenery for us to attempt. And we've done something similar with a small uh, small lake and some rivers. It, lake, pond. At Maxwell Park we had, didn't we? And we can go for the big reservoirs here. We've got three, is that three? Yes, this is a reservoir as well. Uh, what's that one? Walk Mill Glen Reservoir. Not a mouthful. Uh, Riot Lynn Reservoir. And Balgray Reservoir there. Now, if we go down here, fortunately, this is in 3D. So if we just tilt that, Look at that, guys. Our first actual viaduct out in the uh, countryside here. I love it. I don't know whether we're going to fit this in. Possibly. I mean, it's doable. I do like that we've got the two little arches here, then the bigger arches all the way up. That is something we have to do. We have an interesting split here. Does that suggest there was a station here once upon a time? Possibly. It does look like it, doesn't it? It looks exactly like there was a station there. So we'll have to remember to stick that in. And then we keep going all the way down to... Come on. That's a journey and a half, isn't it? Dear, oh dear. Uh, to Mini Witchy. I love it. Mini Witchy. Nilston, which is on a bit of a curve as well, but uh, a good time to make use of our nice UK sort of countryside stations that we've got with the, the turn back with a train in it currently. So there we go. It is used. It's quite a long one as well. That's good. And then ends uh, a dead end. Now, I was saying that Nilston looked like it carried on after the station. And you can see quite clearly the track bed going on there. The track footprint. I think it then swerves off that way. Yes, there it goes. And that's where the old track would have been. Where else does it go? Continues off through there. I guess up law more. Up law more. Up law more. Up law more. <laughs> Used to have a train station. Do they have one anymore? Doesn't look like it. But yeah, there we go. Nielsen will be our final destination today. And then uh, we'll have a bit of a cab ride along our line. If we can get the viaduct in and working, it would kind of be lovely. Is it very straight, the viaduct? It is, isn't it? Yes, it's perfectly straight. Look at that. So we might be able to uh, cheese it a little bit with uh, our fantastic pre-done viaduct mod rather than hand-built. Handbuilt would be nice, but back in game, we have got nowhere near there. We do have to get this next station in, and it's obviously going to be a little bit further along here. And then we'll take this curve where the reservoir, the big reservoir is, a little further up that way. Uh, because we've still got quite a distance until we're at Nilston there. I would like the viaduct and the reservoirs as scenery as key scenery as well if you have ever been a passenger on this route i'm sure the reservoirs are something that you uh, look out for when you're getting close to one way or another now do we want to head up looking at the lay of the land 
Uh, we could bring up the contours here as well. It does look like we continue to head up, don't we? Currently at 52 meters. And when we get to Nielsen, what do we need? Where are you, Nielsen? Oh, yes, we're right up, aren't we? We'll be at 100 double, nearly. No, more than double. Goodness me. 109 meters we've got to... <laughs> yes. So we're climbing. We do have to remember, however, that we've got the viaduct, which I would say we're going to make straight and flat. We're definitely making it straight, but I'm going to make it flat too. And then we'll have to gain some more elevation as well. Uh, gaining a bit of elevation is not a bad idea, though, if we are going to put this viaduct in. Let's get back to our track. We'll sort out the speeds later. Uh, I guess we can start heading back, can't we? I know we drift off a little more than we should, but I think this is going to work for us. Yeah, let's gain some elevation there and here. And then we'll have the station just there. And then what we can do, now we know what point we have got that. I'm not sure why you're complaining. We can uh, drag this and have it go up like nice and steady. There we go. Does that work? Yes. Why are you complaining, train? You should be fine. There we go. I think we might just need to stop him and reverse him. Is it you? No path electric. But why? Stop. Go. Flip. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, he just got confused, I think. It's perfectly fine. Right, now we can put Patterson Station. Oh, I did it. I did it. And I'm leaving it in. No editing it out. Patterson. Stuck in my head, guys. It's stuck in my head. This is going to be just here. Then we can delete the track in between. In fact, I don't know why I put the second track back in. There was no point, given what we're about to do. Let's get the UK station. Uh, I'm going to say P1, P2 just here and they stay the same all the way across i'm not sure but given that these are easy to put in i'm not overly bothered either did we say we're going with 160 with these i don't think so right we went with 120 in the end one yes 120 there we go i think that's good enough for out here isn't it it looks like we never have uh large trains stopping out here oh yes but we're going to need to not that we're going to need to delete all this back and we're going to connect it from one station to the other so it does a really nice smooth uh, connection uh, because what we've got to do is get in here and change this to 50 mile an hour should we decide to ever have through trains and where's our tracks what tracks are we? we want the tracks from here there we go tracks 50 mile an hour with catenary where are you there you are. Oh, I hope it remembers it. We can delete all this, though. It does remember where it is. Let's get you in. And you. Now, if I remember correctly, this end was the uh, small entrance, wasn't it? So, if we stick that right at the end, we're going to have all our pretend park and ride thing going on there. Then we need a station building, don't we? Oh, are they these? Waiting rooms. Oh, look at those. I didn't know about these guys. They're not quite right, but uh, I didn't know they existed. Oh, we needed like the new ones, didn't we, of those? And to go over the top there. Those are kind of cool, though. I've lost them. We'll have to look for those. Answers on a postcard. Perhaps they are somewhere. I found them. They're hidden right here. Right, that took some searching, so I will edit that out. Because I want our little building in. Although, not 100%. Oh, there we go. I to take it back. Look at that. Isn't that spot on? Wonderful. And we can, we can put some benches in, can't we? I don't know whether there are, but we can put some in. And what else do we need? We needed the walkover, though. So maybe I should put that in first. Yes. Red ones are nice. Let's get you in, where are It's kind of closer there, but we can't have it there, so we'll just have it there instead. There we go. I've gone with red. Red is apparently acceptable. And that does look very similar to the one that's there. There we go. 
I do like that, don't you? That's fantastic. Scary, but I like it. I mean, yeah, there's a few issues with the, <laughs> with the catenary going through it. Oh, dear. Oh. I wonder if there's a no mast version of the, the 50 track. I don't think there is. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. Perhaps I can swap these around. No, because this is right. Do you know what? Ignore it. You're not really going to see it, are you? No. I'll figure something out for that. I don't want to mess around with it for an eternity. Uh, especially as it's cosmetic. Let's see if we can get this nice, gentle... There we go, guys. We've got it in. Fantastic. Let's get you connected up there, then. Right, we've got a head for uh, our viaduct. So we're going to go over here. This bit, we are going to have to stay straight. And we're more than likely going to have to have our viaduct earlier than it would be. Uh, so we're going to have to do a, a little bit of terraforming. Now, if we do head out a little bit, there's almost a dip, isn't there? Because the terrain should be there. And it looks like we do kind of curve round. It would be silly to go completely straight. So if we come out like this and stay flat. I don't mind staying flat. It's the perfectly straight. I'm not keen on. And we could in fact go up a little bit, couldn't we? Because we do need to gain some height. Yeah, that would be perfect. Once we've figured out the height of our viaduct we can sort of straighten out a touch all right let's get you there this looks like a good place for a a viaduct so we'll get it there and we'll go straight for our viaduct uh yes i mean it's a lot closer than it should be but what we can do is get you down a bit we could always take it from lower couldn't we yeah if we go into something like that that's where our viaduct's going to be we're obviously going to have to terraform anyway because our map is spot on but we're not no we're kind of slightly slightly ahead of the curve or no we're slightly beyond the curve aren't we right is that a good place for a viaduct can we make this work there we go absolutely spot on yes that will be fine it doesn't matter if it's too high too low I think you do want it high, though, as a viaduct, don't you? We need something. Like, we need a br nice bright red. Like, yes. That's kind of nice, isn't it? So we can do that. It's quite long, isn't it? Let's get a, another leg there. We'll get you in... Oh, have I uh, missed that completely? Yes. We'll get you in there. Nice red brick. And then we need a, a little one just here. If we can make this work, I'll be all sorts of impressed. And we have medium there. Are these larger arches? They are. They, yes, they are. Right. Okay, we might be able to get this. We'll have. Although these look spot on, don't they? That's the problem. They look absolutely wonderful. Almost perfect, in fact. Could we make these two shorter with some different brickwork? Maybe. Given that, then, what I'll do is I'll bring this out like that. And we'll make it invisible. And we'll do that bit ourselves. The last bit. And we'll do two little ones at the end there. Yeah, I can always change it later. Okay, so now we've got the viaduct in. Straight after the viaduct would be where we head straight. I do want to keep the speed up. No point losing any speed there. Then we've got this long section down here where we do need to start heading up again, don't we? Absolutely. So we're bringing that round. This is where the big uh, reservoir is going to be. So we're going to keep heading up like that. And then round... I'm going to go a little further because I really want this uh, this reservoir here to be a, a bit of a centerpiece. And then we can go around this way. I mean, it makes sense to do this wiggle, doesn't it? Because, oh yeah, we can go a little bit further. 
because it allows us to gain height without being too aggressive. We can have a, a nice gentle curve here. That, whoops. <laughs> yeah, that's not how that's supposed to go. There we go. I like that. Yeah, we're kind of at this point now. And then we're going to gently start coming round. We're not going to go up very steep. We're just going to keep gently moving up. I'm going to come round like that. Are we heading up? Not quite enough. Uh, we could bring this round. Take off the tunnel there. Then what do we need to do? It kind of does a little wiggle that way, doesn't it? We're still heading up. Well, in fact, if we could get back on track... Well, no, because we need this to be the reservoir. We can re-detail this up. Because we've got to come back up that way a little bit. And straight. At this point, we could maybe flatten out a touch. And then do the little wiggle back. Fill that in, because we're going to fill that in. Then we need to get back on track here. So we're going to do another wiggle there. Now's a good time to go with the terrain, I think. Let's keep that flat. What height are we at the moment? 195 meters. Is that? No, that's the length. Terrain. What height are we just here? Oh, that's it. Yes. Perfect. Right, we're going to stay at that height, guys. We're going to come around here. And then we'll have our station roughly where it needs to be. So that would be somewhere like that. And then we'll have the turn back up there. Okay, is that good enough? I think so. As long as we stay at least 50 around here. We may be able to do something else with it later. This isn't going to be like that. We're going to flatten that side. That's how it's supposed to be. We do have some little cuttings and stuff, but we will terraform where needed. Uh, okay. Okay, so we've got our we've got our partial viaduct here. And we've got uh, this is where the reservoir is gonna be. And I do know that this kind of heads up just here. And then heads back down again. It's not gonna be this aggressive. We're gonna smooth it out. And our reservoir is going to be the other side. Bit of a shame that it's there. Because you, it'll block the reservoir a little bit. Okay. We'll leave all this as is for now, I think. We'll just smooth it out a touch. Because I can't help myself. And also, official episode. There we go. Right, we need to get our station in. Up here. And we'll get it. Roughly the right angle. No, exactly the right angle. Let's get it nice and flat. There we go. Are we at the right angle there? Pretty much. And buildings. I mean, all of that's done, isn't it? Let's just make sure we've got P1 on that side. And then we've just got the... Oh, don't... Well, I mean, technically that can be that. I'm going to say that's a much slower... Uh, platform configuration I don't think we can do this and put this back in 15 electrified, that's what I'm going with put you in there we'll have to delete that bit of track back over this side then we've got to name them as well, haven't we? absolutely I'll smooth all that out beautiful yeah, absolutely have to name them oh no, not from there you need to now go back in and we need to hunt down our... What did I choose? 20? That'll do. Then we can make this curve a little more gradual. Oh yes, yeah, station building. It's something similar, isn't it? At least I found them now. They're all under King's Cross. So let's get the entrance in. It's going to be roughly the same layout as we had. Well, I mean, there is technically a station building... Whether we have anything that would work for it, I'm not entirely convinced. Uh, definitely not the front of Houston or King's Cross there. Do we have anything? I would really like a... Ooh, that might work. It's a bit massive. I would have liked that with just one floor. There's like a little square brick building. I might go with something like this. It kind of works. It's square. Uh, yes. Yes. 
I'm going to go with that, guys. It sort of works. And... Do you know what's sort of awesome, but I don't know how it's going to look, is remember those little waiting rooms we saw? Yeah, these. They look the part, but unfortunately, they, uh, they're much shorter and much lower. So it doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. I guess we can uh, have a little look-see in the King's Cross. Oh, yes. What do we need? What we do need is right at the station building, fortunately, is we have our nice little cross over here. I've managed to wonderfully find the the catenary there again. Is there any way? Well, I mean, there's only one of three spaces we can put it. You'd have to be at the end, but it is in the middle. Unfortunately, I'm going to do it because I'd rather have the bridge in the correct place than care about whether the catenary is not affecting people. Because it isn't, it's not affecting anybody. We could have just this. I'm, I'm going to do it. It is almost the same, isn't it, to what we had before. And yeah, there's not much going on on the other side. As far as I can tell, there is a walkway up to a bridge. So perhaps we can add us one of these on, not that one, on this side. Like that. Wonderful. And we could still add something this side if we wanted. But I kind of like it like that. I think it works like this. Yeah, leave it. Keep it simple. Right. Turn back. That's going to go up this way. And with a little curve on it, like that. We do that. Is that going to be long enough? I guess I should have measured it, really, shouldn't I? As long as it's the length of a platform, that should be fine, shouldn't it? What's that? 103? Uh, if we make it 100, what are we? 120? 125? How close are we to the next track well we're not we're not going to interfere lovely yes let's just go for it then we'll give ourselves a little bit more room like that i know we're digging in quite a bit there uh, that should go up there hopefully there we go that's working this is not going to be this high at the sides here we'll get that down a little bit there is a bit of an, an embankment at the end of it and a road We'll get that tidied up around there. And when we finalise it, I think it's going to look absolutely marvellous. Alright, let's get this in and then we can name some stations. That's better, isn't it? Nice little curve into the station there. And as far as I know, there is no crossover here. So we are going to have to use this. Which means I'm going to have to put my plan into action sooner rather than later. Oh, okay. Well, one thing we are going to need then is a two-way signal. And we might as well go with the ground position signal. Uh, please be two-way. As long as we've got enough room here to fit one of those trains in. And I guess there would only be a signal at the end here. We will put more signals in along the track as well. This will be one way. I'm going to put it as one way. Technically, it could be two way. Um, but we're not going to do any manoeuvres, I don't think, where we shut half the lines. And there's going to be more than one signal, surely. Between here and Patterton. There we go. We've got that one in. Now, there is that bit of track we've got. Uh, it's technically up here. So I'm not sure how to achieve that. I guess what we could do is send this bit out a little wider. Uh, with a tracks difference. I would like it in. Because it exists, right? And if we just do it like this. A little bit more of a gap than that, isn't it? And we need to exaggerate it slightly, I think. We go somewhere like that. Hopefully it looks the business once it's uh, all connected. 
Is that looking? Ooh, but we slow down. I don't think you would slow down. You don't slow down there. That bit's fine. It's just this bit. Um, perhaps we can take that back a touch. Get that nice and smooth. Almost. Almost. I would rather not have the slow down so we could have a gradual... There we go. Lovely. A little bit exaggerated, but we don't lose any speed either. Get that all smoothed out up to there. There we go, guys. We even got that little bit of track in. Isn't that wonderful? Sort of does the job. Our viaduct could probably be a little bit longer. We need to finish off this little section of track here. Uh, how's that looking? As long as that looks okay. It's not looking too bad, is it? That's absolutely wonderful. A little bit of official episode down here as well. Get it all smoothed out. Eventually, we'll have some housing out here. I'm probably going to do an AI town up this way. Uh, near our other... We're missing a station up here somewhere, aren't we? Or is that it? That might be it over there. No, because that's Nielsen. I'll figure that out. Now's not a good time. When you've done no research whatsoever, don't try and guess what's what. Okay, but we've got our little station here, which is named Patterton. And we've got to name this one Nielsen, haven't we? I believe so. Nielsen is in. Guys, we need to extend our line. No, add your signals. Let's add those signals in. Uh, signals. Yes, we need one at the end here. It does mean, thankfully, we can get rid of the uh, temporary crossover we've got. Obviously, our train is not going to be impressed. And we'll have halfway signals. Sure, one there. One there. And then... One there. And one there. And then we'll get rid of this. And that. And that's staying. It's only going to be upset while we're uh, fixing the rest of it. There's probably going to be a few up here, isn't there? I hope, anyway. Although there's probably no need for more than one. I guess we can have one there up just before the corner. On each direction. And, I mean, it's probably a little bit close there, isn't it? Uh, yeah, let's move it along a little bit. One there. And one there. Yes, better. We'll stagger those two. Yes and yes, yes, halfway. I don't know where they would be on here. One before and after the viaduct, perhaps. On the well. If this used to be a station, would there be... Kind of one either end of the station here. It might be. Uh, it would be something like that, wouldn't it? Yes. Where the station was, meaning the halfway point here would be somewhere like there and there. I don't know whether it was a station, though, but that would kind of make sense. I wonder if there was other stations along here. Possibly. Yeah, but don't go crazy with the... Uh, with the signalling just yet. We need to fix our train, don't we? Glasgow Central to Neilston is actually a thing now. So, manage the line. White Craigs, add station. You're then going to Patterson. And then to Neilston. And then back to Patterson. Back to White Craigs. And we've got to figure out how to do this turnaround. I think it's something I want to say for the beginning of the next episode. I do have a plan, but we're running out of time. We've got to uh, we've got to have a ride on this. I might not have the uh, the mod installed either. Do I have the mod installed? No. What we need is the mini station or zigzag. We could put just a station in, technically. Um, any old station, really. But I, I can't see whether I've got the zigzags. No, we don't have it. The zigzag is a, a 
a mini mini station. I wouldn't mind doing it. It's like a zero length station or a 10 meter length station. Can we get away with it? 40 meter. We might be able to, you know. If we put you in there, connect, connect it, connect down to there. All right, we'll flatten a little bit. We're, we're going to need the space anyway, aren't we? Just so you get an idea what we're going to do with the uh, zigzag station. I'll just configure this. And we'll get rid of the platform there. This should work. Get that down a bit. We'll tidy all this up when we get round to doing it. So far, it's just like that. There we go. Now, can we make this work? Give me that there. Manage the line. So after Nielsen, we're going to have to call this uh, Nielsen Reverse, I guess. Nielsen Reverse. What we need to do is we need to set some rules here. We want to only unload at this platform. Then we want to... Oh, you can't. You need a... Oh, can we have an invisible platform? Configure. Uh, where's the invisible platforms? Extended invisible platform. There we go. We'll put the invisible platform in there. Then we might be able to manage line. Nielsen add station. Nielsen reverse. And yes, there we go. It doesn't work, but we'll not load anything. And not unload anybody. And then what we'll do is go into p2 or p1 as it would be there we go and we don't want to unload anybody we just want to load so we're unloading there running up to this turning around and then starting our pickup point from there there we go that's kind of cool isn't it Hopefully, that works out fine. I'd like to see if that works out fine. Where's our train? Oh, are you on the way back to Glasgow? Where are you? Let's see if we can find him. No, what have I clicked there? Oh, guys, I haven't saved it all episode. Panic. Major panic. All right, saved. I want to get on board this. Where are you heading right now? Oh, we're heading out there. Look at that, guys. Yes, there we go. Our train's already looking. Absolutely. Well, they're not too bad, actually. I was going to say absolutely terrible, but they're a little worn, and that's about it. We've got a lot going on here, haven't we? Look at that. A little dance happening at Cathcart on the junction there. I will, um, I will leave you with whatever happens at Neilston. It's sort of a continuation, isn't it, of where we were? There's not much going on, but we can get a rough idea, if we stay on board this, of what is going to be going on, once we've got some detailing in. Uh, a lot of field work, a lot of trees, big old reservoirs, a few. We've already got the starts of our, uh, our viaduct in, but other than that, I am super happy today, guys. All the way to Nielsen, and it's either going to crash or it's not. Or not work or we're going to be sat there i don't know <laughs> oh we'll have to uh take notes and come back on thursday and see what happened and until then take care